Hey guys, I really honestly have no idea how this video is going to turn out because as I stick my tripod up here, if you could see what I'm looking at on the camera, it's like slanted down here, but yet everything is set. Everything is set on the counter unless we've had an earthquake and the earth has shifted. I feel like I should be standing like this to even myself out with the camera. Some of you might, this might, <laughs> I might publish this and it might be fine and then you're all going to be like, wow, she is like, <laughs> no, I'm not drunk. Um, it's just really freaking me out. Like, why is it so crooked? You can see my camera. It is. It's crooked! Oh, that hurts me to talk like that. Okay, so I'm going to try to even, I have so much stuff right here on my counter to show you and refer to, so I'm going to try to possibly hone in on just a few points here. Obviously, as you can see, it is Thursday, not because I have these gloves on, but I mean that. I'm just telling you for context that it's Thursday. I just finished doing um, a new turbo fire um, that I hadn't done before. I've got a 533 calorie burn and I'm having something to eat because I do have a call in half an hour. In fact, I had a call half an hour ago. Poor Matt. Thank you for being understanding. Um, but I didn't remember. I have had strep throat this week. So if you watch my last video, the only way you'd know if I had strep throat is if you're um, reading my blog too, which you probably should. But then again, I tend to post videos lately more than I uh, post my blog. Sorry, I'm distracted by a bird outside. You know me, I'm always distracted by something. My blog is kellyolexa.com, K-E-L-L-Y-O-L-E-X-A.com. Um, anyway, so I shot my videos, was that Sunday, I think, um, and then Monday, my mom had her um, lumpectomy. So I was with her at the hospital with my mom and my dad. It went very well, so thank you for all of you that have been praying for her and, and sending me well wishes and so on. Um, it went very well, but mom was just the most bizarre thing ever is I was there, you know, I mean, I was tired, uh, but I had gotten up that morning, done my workout, felt totally fine. Um, I think I shared with you guys, that is one big bird trying to get on my bird feeder. You're not gonna fit! I just, why do these black birds, and they're such bullies, they bully the small birds, it really upsets me. I need to get over this, I know. Um, anyway, so, besides I shouldn't be yelling. Um, focus, Kelly, focus. Uh, worked out, um, worked out Monday morning, felt fine, went to the hospital, was at the hospital all day. Literally, I kid you not, by the time I was leaving that evening, it was like early evening, I'm driving home and I'm like, oh my God, my throat is hurting, is my throat hurting? And it was a beautiful day, it was like 65 degrees, so the window down and I'm like, I hope I'm not getting a sore throat, because I can always like feel it in my glands when I was younger. I used to get strep throat a lot. Um, and I would always, I got used to feeling if my glands were swollen because the doctors would always feel here and they were like, here, feel bad, see, that's your lymph node. So I always got used to going, oh yeah, my lymph nodes are swollen. So by the time I got home that night, I mean, it just, it hit me out of the blue and just got progressively worse very fast. And so I'm talking, <laughs> talking to Michael um, Monday night who knows some stuff medically. Did I already shoot a vlog about this? I, don't, I feel like I said this before, but um, I don't think so. I don't think I've shot a vlog since I got sick. But anyway, he's like, it sounds like you have strep throat. Do you have like those white dots on the back of your throat? And I'm like, how in the world am I going to know if I have white dots on the back of my throat? And I, I'm like, I can't see it. That's stuff only doctors can see. But of course, you know that I went and I got my flashlight and I'm in the mirror like, <laughs> like shining the flashlight down, going, I'm sure you all enjoyed that. Anyway, I could see the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? White dots in the back of my throat. They look like canker sores on the back of my throat. Big white dots. And I was like, because oh. I just, ha first of all, yes, you all can point to the fact that I have many, many, many times said, I never get sick. I don't even have a primary care physician, which, it, which I don't. I have, I don't have like a doctor. I haven't had a doctor in years. I haven't had to go, but pretty funny that I'm always telling you guys, I take my vitamins and I never get sick. And this year I got sick and had to reschedule my vacation. And now I've had strep throat this year. So I don't know if that's God going, excuse me.
excuse me or whatever. I do think that he was sending me a message, but that's about something else. We're not going to talk about it right now. All that said, went to the doctor Tuesday morning, and by the time I went there, I was like, for the love of God, get me in there and give me the drugs. Like, my throat felt like I had seven throats inserted into my throat. I was, my glands were so swollen. Like, I was feeling it going, is this human? What's going on here? It was really, it was, like, I, I probably should have taken a picture of it because I bet my neck was as big as Michael's, and Michael's has a very big neck. Well, wow, there's a, there's birds up there in that thing. I made them fly away, but up in that window, I bet you they're making a nest up there. Do you see how I whisper as if the birds can hear? Hold on. It's still crooked. It's still crooked. Anyway, so they were up in there. I think they're gonna make a nest there. That would be cool if they made a nest there and there. I'm such a bird freak. Anyway, so um, here I am eating my oatmeal, and, and for those of you that keep writing me, asking me about my oatmeal recipe. It's not a recipe, but I'm going to tell you exactly what I put in it. I just have to swallow a little slower right now, because uh, although we're getting better, I've been on antibiotics. Where are my sweet antibiotics? I've been on antibiotics for two days. Look at these horse pills. I'm about to take another one. I have to take twice a day. Hello. These are the size of my fingernails, which is pretty significant. Oh, my coffee is so good. I'll get to that in a second, too, because you guys keep asking me what's in the coffee. I have so much stuff here. Anyway, so seven minutes of babbling. Anyway, back to the gloves. i got to tell you guys, as I mentioned, of course, I'm obsessed with Turbo Fire. I did a new Turbo Fire workout today. I'm telling you, if you buy the set that I did, which, of course, you should buy from, I'm heavy, heavy plugging here. My Beach Body website. Oh, I thought that was a squirrel. Um, I think it's like, I really should know my website, shouldn't I? It's either teambeachbody.com slash Kelly Alexa or beachbodycoach.com slash Kelly Alexa. Each one, either one will get to me. But I did this one today, which uh, is a 45 minute, um, 45 minute hit. Does it say what it is? This is the cool down, but usually what I do is, um, usually what I do is I, um, I get this to where it's the cool down, then I run in here, put my coffee on, put my oatmeal in the oven, and then I start kind of doing that, jumping around, like, I think I was at 400 calories burn by the time I got to the end of this, and you know my thing now is, is 500 is the new 300, so, um, especially today, because I haven't worked out in two days, um, I really wanted to make sure I got up to 500. So, you know, I come in here and I run in place. I do all my weird things, jumping jacks, whatever I feel like, sprints up and down my hallway. I act like a freak and I jump around and then I will actually probably go stretch after I finish shooting this video. But back to these, I am so glad that somebody said, whoever this was, I have to go back and, and whoever said this to me on Facebook that said you've got to get the weighted gloves for Turbo Fire and for any kickboxing or boxing DVDs because it'll really, for the love of God, it'll really rip up your shoulders. And Michael said that too. It's the plastic surgeon's office calling, but I can't talk to you right now. I may or not be doing, I may or may not be doing some research on something. I can't lie, I'm not gonna be one of those people that's like, no, I haven't had any work done. I'm 19, I'm 44 people, it's time to start. Um, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, so these things are amazing. I was doing this video and I bet you, say I haven't done this video before, but typically on like a 45 minute workout, I wouldn't get up to a 400 calorie burn. This really, you just, like you're doing punches and you just, you know, your arms are up the whole time. You're doing punching and kicking and, that's a lot of the, that's another thing that I want to point out. With the turbo fire, the reason, if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know, I like advanced workouts. I've been working out for a while, so I don't want a workout that's gonna go, let's do five punches, and then let's talk about how we're gonna do the next punch. And the next punch is, take your hand, and then close your hand, and then what you're gonna do is turn your arm like this, 
and then you're gonna punch like this, and then you're gonna pull it back. That's right, you want me to do it again? Push it out, and then pull it back. Oh, and if you haven't remembered, this is how you push your hands together. We close the hand, tilt the arm, and then I don't like videos that stop in the middle and go, okay, let's instruct you on the next one. Turbo Fire, Les Mills does a little bit more what I would call instructional, but the thing is, they're not stopping. What they're doing is they'll be going like, there's a part of some of their videos where they're like going sidekick. You know, they'll go sidekick and step. You know, sidekick and step, where it's those times that I'll just do sidekick, side, look how badass I am. You can't even tell the kicks, but I'll just keep going so I know that part is coming where they're kind of working you into that, or, you know, they're showing you how to do the back kick, and they'll go back kick, stop back kick stop and in that case when I'm ready for that I'll just keep doing the back kick so I kind of get ahead to the advanced part um, and it's very easy to do but they don't really stop the momentum and the music keeps going so it's not like so many DVDs that I found in the past where you would get so excited and again it was really disappointing because I really loved the Tybo Advance DVDs and then it seemed like for years every DVD that came out it was like let's stop and talk about it and you're like First of all, I don't want to have to be pressing the fast forward button. I shouldn't have to make up that much stuff to keep my sweat going and my heart rate up so that I'm actually getting a workout, okay? I need to be hardcore. I need to do something bragworthy. I need to be dripping with sweat, which I was when I finished this workout. But anyway, the weighted gloves are awesome. The other thing that I like about this, Turbo Fire and, like I said, to some degree, Les Mills, um, <laughs> Kathy's workouts are always like that, Kathy Friedrich. Um, she's hardcore but they don't they don't stop like there's there's a lot of I, I would say not as many because my body's getting used to um, working out of this intensity I gotta stop this 569 um, she just she doesn't pause like there are some my heart rate I kept checking my heart rate on my polar it was up at 150 a lot and for me 150 to like 170 is my happy fat burning zone. I'm just saying like I know when I'm up there I'm really getting a good burn on and, and like for me 180 is probably like my max. When I'm getting up there I'm about dying. So really like this. She doesn't stop. The music is outrageously fun. Like I, I just I didn't plan on, on selling this as much to you guys but I gotta tell you I am so blown away by how freaking fun this is. Full disclosure I do know Shaleen. She's a friend of mine. Um, but I've known her for a while and I haven't been doing these DVDs because I thought I wouldn't get the choreography. Now that I get it, like it's a blast. That plus Les Mills. The only better about Les Mills Combat is that there's not as many DVDs as this one. This probably has three times the DVDs and the three times is the workouts of that. So it's all good. Let me get back to some other things so I can shut this down and go make my call. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking what I'm eating for breakfast. So here's my oats. There's no recipe for my oats, people. Mmm. Mmm. But I will tell you, it's damn good. Um, hold on, I'm just taking this off because I have to grab a quick shower and get on a phone call. Make sure when you have a polar heart rate monitor that you wash this every day. But you take this off, take this part off, and then just wash this and let it air dry. I don't like to put that in the dryer. So, what's the, the oats recipe, people? I cook old-fashioned oats. So half a cup of old-fashioned oats. Ugh, it still hurts. Half a cup of old-fashioned oats. I cook it in the microwave. So you put half a cup of old-fashioned oats to a cup of water, excuse me. Cook it in the microwave for two, two, two. I'm weird about making my numbers even. Everything has to be even. Then when I take it out, um, I get, excuse me, my jar, as you can see, it ends, it ends up being empty very soon. I put my PV2, I have one for the chocolate and one for the regular peanut butter too, PV2 in here. I take probably like one heaping spoonful. I, I don't measure it, but two tablespoons of this is 45 calories, I think. So I mean, I'll take like a heaping teaspoon like this. Some mornings, if I'm feeling really bitchy, it'll be like that. But I put one scoop in, one scoop in here, and yes, for you haters that are gonna be like, oh, I can't believe you, it's a component of, excuse me, component. A component of using chemicals. Get over it, okay? Look at me, I like Splenda. Look, I'm gonna lick it. 
Oh, look, I would like cover my body in Splenda. Oh, look, it's on my forehead. Look at that. Ah, oh, is that gonna drive you crazy? I should just leave it up there for some of you. You don't know how much hate I get if I say I like Diet Coke. Here's, here's something to go crazy. I like Diet Coke and I use Splenda occasionally. And I go tanning. Oh, I am the Antichrist, people, watch out. Um, so I put like two things of Splenda in here with the PB2. Mm. And I also, because I'm a chemical loving girl, see, someone's gonna take part of this video and make like a greatest hits with all like the worst things I'm saying in it and make it look like I'm saying something else. I got this at TJ Maxx when I got the gloves. So I put a little dab of sugar-free white chocolate chemicals. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, and then I add some water because I found that when you add water, it makes your oats less sticky. So that's my recipe. It's beyond scrumptious. Very good every morning. Um, here's the tip. After you, um, one second. After you finish your oats, do what I just did. Put it in the, um, put it in the sink and fill the, uh, Fill the, those are big birds. Fill the cup, oh, I can't talk. The bowl with water because otherwise the, um, the um, oatmeal sticks to the side of the bowl, makes it very hard to clean. So I'm helping you out there. Now, my coffee, of course, in my full disclosure ad, this is a client of Fitfluential and my BFFs. Uh, the universe knows, trust the process mug, is that what it is? Trust the process, which I needed this cup today because Oh my God, it's so good. I really love this invention that I've, I've journeyed down the road to with coffee. Um, I have trust the process on there because sometimes I get frustrated when things like getting strep throat interrupt your productivity. And I'm like, why am I getting this? I can't work, I can't do anything. Now I have to stop everything. Now I'm not gonna work out. Trust the process. There's a reason that everything happens. I probably needed to just chill out and rest. Even though I can't lie, I feel very flabby. Disgusting today, but that's okay, because now that I've worked out, I'm back on track. Um, I got this, where did I get this? I got this, I went shopping at a new place. Oh, this looks funky. So somebody was writing into me saying that the coconut oil that I got at Walmart was not organic. Um, I or Oh, I ordered this from Peapod, because I was too lazy to go grocery shopping last week. Michael was like, you ordered from Peapod? Of course, his expression wasn't that bad, but. Um, I'm like, yes, I order from Peapod. I don't have time to go shopping. But I tried this. Um, I have to be honest with you. I, I mean, I'm fine getting this. And all due respect for you guys that have all organic stuff. Um, I really don't care if mine is organic or not. I'm just throwing that out there. I, I don't want to be one of those people that, you know, changes what is important to me. Again, it doesn't mean I, I am saying that it's not important for those people that find it important. You know what I'm saying? I respect other people's choices. I just don't want to be a hypocrite and go, oh yeah, all of a sudden I'm looking for everything organic when y'all know that I'm not. I, I'm one of those people that some days I'm all chemicals, some days I'm all organic. I go both ways with the chemicals and the organic and whatever. So there you go. Um, I'm also having, as we speak, look how perfect this looks. My egg white. And a couple of you had written to me and asked, what time am I at? 18. If the egg whites, I keep thinking I see the squirrel. If the egg whites are not as um, tasty as regular eggs, I have to tell you, when Michael was first telling me to have egg whites only, I was like, can I have one egg? And you know, I'm like, that's gonna taste so gross. I'm not lying to you guys. I would not, I would tell you if I was just, you know, kind of forcing this down, I'm not. When, when you make it the way, I'm kind of copying what he does. That's not my egg whites. I get egg whites in the carton. I pour them in the bowl. I add pepper, I add garlic salt, and just a little bit. Oh, I thought I brought out all my stuff here to show you. A little bit of that, um, I, I don't think it's fake, it's real, Parmesan cheese, but the kind that comes in the can, you know? It's like, and Michael's like, Parmesan cheese? I'm like, it, look, it's 25 calories, okay? You gotta give me something. So sometimes there's his hardcore and there's my hardcore, which is right here. And sometimes we have to just go a little bit back and forth. Hopefully he's not watching this video. Um, but I do put in a little sprinkle of that. It's out, uh, it's over there, whatever. So put a little sprinkle of that. 
whip it up really, really good. Um, so that's the key, is whipping it up really good because that makes it fluffy. And then put it in the pan and just let it sit. And that's where I have to like run around. I run around and I do like high knee running. You know what high knee running is. If I do it here, you wouldn't be able to see it. You'll see it in the videos when we do full body videos and workout videos, which you'll see very soon, I promise. But if you just let it sit, then you flip it. I think it's really tasty. I would tell you guys if I thought, oh, it's egg white tasty. It's really good. So in my coffee, still put in, I just put in a shake of cinnamon, a lot less cinnamon than I did in the beginning because I realized how much it makes me choke. A teeny little bit of, um, not even, you want to see, it's the number one question I get too. Well, number five question. How much coconut oil? I don't measure it. I put maybe that much in. So I just scoop out some. Um, and that's enough usually for like two cups. Because what I do is I, I brew enough coffee so that I can have this cup. Then when this cup gets low and it has like a quarter in it, I fill it up again. Maybe add just a wee little bit more. I use heavy cream, people. No carbs. But I don't use, I don't pour the cream in until it's creamy and lovely, like probably we'd like to, but I put just enough in. So I usually, when I was measuring it, I put one tablespoon in, but I pretty much have an eye on what one tablespoon is. And it's quite delectable. So that's my coffee, I've told you. Oh, duh, my egg whites were right here. Um, really quick, I'm already at 21 minutes. Um, I think I told you guys the supplements, I'm still doing the um, Genetics HD stack. Um, so I take my Pro Sculpt, that's the blue stuff you see on Instagram every morning. I take that before my cardio in the morning. Um, before weight training, I am now using the kind folks at BSN sent me this. So I use No Explode, which I have to tell you guys, I was quite pleased with the taste. Um, and I've heard about this for years, but I had, like I told you before, I had used Gaspari Super Pump 250, which is no longer Super Pump 250. It's some other version of Super Pump, but um, I'm using this. And then they also, I haven't used this yet. This is the uh, kind of, I think this would replace um, the BCAA. It's, oh, it's BCAAs and vitamin D and uh, sugar-free, blah, blah, blah. This also, there's two protein powders that I use. I'm keeping it really simple. I use GNC AMP for shakes. Anything shakes or when I'm making my zucchini protein bread, I use this. I only use BSN Lean Dessert um, for making my protein pancakes. Because if you mix this with egg whites and a little bit of water in a bowl, best tasting protein pancake on the planet. Amazing. So that's what I use there. I told you about the PB2, I told you about this. Um, lastly, I'm gonna give you a little preview because I feel bad this has been sitting before I went on vacation in my closet. Um, and I'll hopefully provide a link. You guys have to check these people out. These are some clothes that, oh, there's a pocket in the back. YMX sent me. This is like some of the most, okay, I can't describe to you how nice this fabric is, okay? And the art that these people put into their clothes, Carla, Misfit Online and I visited them in New York one time and their clothes are amazing. And, and look at this, you've got to, you have to really check them out to, to see on the site. And I'll put these on later so you can see them, but the, the patterns and the prints are amazing. And it's literally like, can you see how thin it is and soft? I, I brought this out here because I gotta tell you, this stuff looks, Amazing. I'll do a different vlog on this so, because this is not giving them enough due time. But I almost, I, I just felt bad. I saw this and I'm like, I haven't even mentioned this. Look at, everything is so colorful and so beautiful. Um, YMX Yellow Man. Let me see if I can show you that. You see that? So go check them out. But, oh, they have arm warmers too. And little bolero. See that up there? So I will do a different vlog on that. They are working with Fitfluential now, so you'll get to see more people. Carla was the one that introduced me to them, but I wanted to at least give you a preview because I saw it and I'm like, oh, I haven't even mentioned that. I haven't even put them on yet because the tags are still on, but I'm very excited because they are very, very cool. We visited them like two years ago. Um, anyway, so that said, oh, I've got a call in 10 minutes. I have talked way too long. I am feeling better and tomorrow's gonna be even better than today. So you guys go out and have a kick-ass day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Mr. Flo, there you go.